All right, so Luthien dipped out from the little wood house that uh, Thingle had made for her. She snuck away, uh, and as she was going, um, it just so happened that Seligorm and Curifin were hunting through the guarded plain, uh, and with them was Juan. Now, Juan, it says, was the chief of the wolfhounds, uh, and he had come, actually, from the Blessed Realm. He was not from Middle-earth. Uh, Orome had given him to Selagorm uh, long ago in Valinor, uh, and he was faithful and stayed with his master, uh, followed Selagorm into exile. Uh, but now he was with them while they were hunting, and even though Luthien, you know, moved like a shadow, nothing escaped his sight or scent, and so he came up and he discovered her. Uh, and brought her to Seligorm and Curifin, and when she knew that they were elven lords, she thought that he, they, enemies of Morgoth, that they would help her. Um, and when she revealed her beauty, it said Seligorm became enamored uh, for her, of her, uh, and they said, let's go to Nargothrond, and we will, um, you know, see what we can do. And really, she didn't know it, but they were just being total... I, I should probably not use bad language here, just in case <laughs> any un young people see this. Anyway, they were being total jerks. I'll just say jerks. Um, because they wanted to secretly um, make her marry Seligorm uh, to make themselves, uh, you know, uh, advance their own interests uh, in Middle-earth. So, uh, yeah. Great job, Sons of Feanor. You, I want to use other words than jerks, but uh, anyway... So they went to Nargothrond, and then they uh, basically kidnapped her. I mean, they, they, they kept her there against her will. She wanted to go after Baron, um, and uh, it says, uh, yeah, grieved at her captivity. So, yeah, they, they basically kidnapped her. So, uh, but don't worry, Juan... Juan is true of heart. He, he's going to help out the situation here. So anyway, Stephen Colbert, I'd like to talk about Silmarillion, Tolkien, and Middle-Earth, and all this wonderful stuff. So hit me up, please. It's my number one bucket list. Thank you.